units and district commander have three ratings. The intelligence rating, the troop rating, and civil military rating. As you might expect, these impact their ability to complete missions. Let's say this government stack is performing a patrol mission against insurgents that are hiding in the underground box trying to flush them out. That's going to be a function of their, their intelligence rating. Uh, we're going to compare the government total. We're going to add up all the intelligence ratings in that stack to the lowest intelligence rating in the enemy stack. The insurgent player knows what that is, but I don't. So I don't know exactly how much I need to do. Uh, but I know I want a higher total. Now the insurgent has another benefit in that they're going to add the terrain modifier for the area. Now both of us might have assets in our stacks. These aren't units, they don't necessarily have ratings for everything, but they have something that will help us in this, these situations. So uh, this detective might have just one more question, and this is going to give me plus two to my intelligence rating for that, that mission, for that stack. Uh, maybe the insurgents have this spy in their stack, give them plus one to their terrain modifier. Now this sounds kind of deterministic, I have some numbers, you have some numbers, then you tell me if I did it, but there's one important catch, the chance chits. Uh, we're each going to have a random hand of these chits with a wide range of values for each rating. And when we resolve the mission, we each play one of our chits and add that intelligence rating to our total. Now there are actually uh, special chits called the intelligence advantage, this guy here. Uh, that will let me use the highest rating on the chit instead of the intelligence rating. So instead of using this 2, I can add this 5. But I'm not going to do that right now, so uh, get out of your eyeball. Yeah! Uh, now if I use the chit for this mission, uh, it's expended, I can't use it for something else. So there's a bit of hand management here. Uh, let's say my patrol was successful. The insurgent stack is going to move out of the underground box. Here, he's part of the stack now. Get this guy's out of here and be at large in the area. Now, I can't actually attack them yet uh, because they're still face down. I'll need another patrol mission to flip them face up. And then, once they're face up, I can try a attack mission. And as you might expect, that is going to involve the troop ratings for each side. So we're going to add, add up those totals, add up assets, etc. Now, uh, the high total is going to win but how the total is arrived at matters because the loser of the battle is going to take losses equal to the difference between each side's natural troop ratings. So my units plus assets versus your units plus assets. Uh, so in this case, we have one, two, three, four, five versus one, two, three, four. So I'll do one hit against the insurgents, eliminating the unit. The winner is going to take losses equal to the difference between the troop ratings on the chits that are played, the chance chits. So I don't want to pick the highest chance, uh, chance chit in my hand with the one with the highest TR rating because the other side might pick something low. Both sides have a blank chit with zero for all ratings. So if they played that and I played this, I'm doing one hit on them and the difference is five. I'm, I'm suffering five hits. I don't want that. I also don't want to create some kind of mega uh, can't lose stack with, you know, it does super amount of hits because if I wipe out the other side, and there are hits left over in excess of this population number, then the area becomes terrorized. And as you can tell from the skull marker, that's, that's not great. Now patrol, attack, these are tactical missions, and a stat can do them over and over again on the same turn. They're short term. Uh, there are also non-tactical missions, and these are gonna be the only mission the stat can perform during the turn. This is stuff like removing terror, get that out of there, building uh, infrastructure, recruiting new uh, units, new militia. And those are all going to use the civil military rating. This is the hearts and minds stuff. Uh, and you're going to need to balance these in order to pursue your objectives and win the game. I should note that while they're underground, get back underground guys, uh, the insurgents can't perform any of the tactical missions they can only perform certain non-tactical ones. So there is a trade-off there. Uh, so I think that should give you an, a quick idea as to how missions are resolved and chance chits are used in District Commander. Thank you for watching.